Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and we today are going to be unboxing yet again another croc. This time, this is a collaboration done with 7 Eleven on the Mega Crush blog. Let's take a quick see feet. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a really fun collaboration, 7-Eleven. I know that I have had my fair share of 7-Eleven food and just having one always conveniently located to wherever I live. So we'll start out with the overview of these, talk about size and fit, followed by how I styled this really fun quirky clog, and then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. So as far as winning these, I actually entered a raffle and I was able to cop them. This again is a different silhouette than we've ever done on the channel. This is the first time I've done a mega crush clog. It is quite heavy in comparison to the classic clogs that I typically do or the Pollux clog that I've done on the channel. It's got a lot more weight to it, which I kind of don't mind it. It has this kind of Balenciaga effect going on with the oversized gigantic feel. Uh, but we've got some really just cool color combinations that are very representative of 7-Eleven. I don't know what it was when I was in college. I moved into just multiple different houses throughout the years. And for some reason, I was always next to a 7-Eleven and Little Caesars. So I'm not sure what the correlation is there, but I just feel like no matter where I seem to move in my college days, it was always next to a 7-Eleven and a Little Caesars pizza, which seemed to be kind of like my diet of choice, I feel like back then. Uh, but we've got some nice gibbets that I feel like are very representative of the food that I was eating then, which one of them is that cherry slurpee right there that's probably since it's my childhood i feel like that's my favorite item that i was ever able to get and i feel like on sundays my grandparents always took us to 7-eleven as a treat and i was always getting the wild cherry flavor uh, we do have the seven logo a nice cup of coffee here the 7-eleven logo as well there and then uh, we got a little slice of pizza because they always have hot food they've got like the hot dogs rolling by the cashier stand as well as pizza and other hot food items probably not the most healthy but i remember they even had nachos there that were always available uh this is also going to be releasing in a flipped color combination so it'll be green on the front one of the things i noticed when i was just staring at these is that the orange is different on the right and the left clog and i don't know if that is on purpose or if they actually just miscolored this with the orange is tripping me out it's kind of like annoying me actually that these two are different uh so we've got kind of a lighter orange on this side and a darker orange on this side and as we work our way down we've got the 7-eleven color combination white underneath that and black for the outside or for the outsole of the croc itself all right let's take a look at all those details
before we move on, I do want to show the packaging that this came in. It did come in a plastic bag, which wasn't so exciting, but it is a 7-Eleven branded bag, which is kind of cool. All right, so now let's talk about size and fit. So I've been going with a size and a half down in most of my Crocs, but I think moving forward, I did get these in a size six. I will be probably going closer to a size seven, just so I can kind of wear my Crocs in that sport mode, but I would recommend at least going maybe a half a size down if you have higher to narrow feet like myself. Uh, so do take that into consideration when you're deciding on what size will work best for you. All right, so now let's talk about how I style these. Obviously, this is just a really fun out there looking Croc. It is so different from any of my other Crocs. I guess the closest it would be two is probably my carrots just because it's a similar orange colorway. Uh, but for the first look, I decided to wear a khaki puffer jacket with a multicolored floral top underneath that kind of matched the color scheme of the clog itself. And I wore some black denim bell bottoms. second look switched it up a little bit and I decided to wear a brown suede coat with just a nice kind of orange sweater I feel like that matched the orange tones and hues of the clog and then pleated khaki skirt. So that was a little more fun dressed up look. For the last and final look, I wore a striped orange and cream sweater and for the bottom, some khaki pants. Let me know down below what was your favorite looking through. How would you style these? Now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retail $110 and they are currently going between 140 to 170. So do remember that these will be releasing again on November 7th, which for those of you who understand, November 7th is basically 7-Eleven, sort of, kind of. Uh, but really cool quirky date that they'll be releasing that on. So hopefully I'll be able to get that color combination to compare the 
the two. All right, everyone, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Be sure to leave me any comments or questions down below and hit that notification box. We have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name's Marcel. We'll catch you on the next episode.